All right, so quick intro to this video. I know the last time you guys saw this rifle in one of my videos, we were calling it the 22LR Budget Long Range Precision Project. I'm really excited about this now. I feel pretty comfortable calling this the ultimate Marlin Model 60. Um, obviously, this thing has went over a complete makeover since the last time you guys saw it. We're gonna go over a quick overview of the rifle. Um, I plan on doing a full video breaking down everything, everything on this rifle, why I set it up the way I did. Um, but for now, I wanna just do a quick breakdown uh, explain the few different things that we've done to this, uh, how those things might help us a little bit in our pursuit of long range of the 22, um, and then we'll take it out and shoot it at distance, see how it performs. So first off, obviously the first thing that stands out is this Boyd stock. This is the Boyd's Rimfire Varmint stock. Um, Boyd's actually has, I think, four different profile, uh, stock profiles uh, for the Marlin Model 60. This is the one that I decided was going to allow give me the most benefit for the type of shooting that I do, either off of a bench or from the prone. Um, obviously, first off, it's got a much longer fore end. It allows us to get that bipod out much further. If you guys remember back to the video we did on uh, comparing bipod stability, um, the further out you can put your bipod, the wider it opens up that tripod, which is gonna give you more stability. Um, and a couple other things, it adds a little bit of weight, which is going to allow me to be more stable when I get down in the prone or from a bench. Um, and it uh, allowed me to order this thing in a perfect length of pull that fits me. Um, that old Marlin stock that was on here was so short, I was all crunched up on the rifle trying to shoot it and it just was completely, unco completely uncomfortable. And then it also is much more ergonomic in the grip. It allows us to get a vertical grip with, and give us a much more perfectly forward and back trigger pull. So Boyd's has done a great job of producing a stock that is absolutely usable for me it, it does everything that i need it to do and the thing is absolutely beautiful um if you guys remember in that last video i said yeah this thing functions but it's absolutely atrocious and this thing is definitely not an atrocious rifle now i think this thing absolutely looks stunning um so kudos to boyd's for producing a stock that is functional and beautiful at the same time. Beyond that, I also did a trigger job to this. Um, there was a company, I think M Carbo, that makes a trigger kit for this that I'm sure works great. Um, but I actually was able to do a trigger job to this myself um, and get the take the trigger weight from seven pounds down to just under four pounds, which is breaks right around the same spot that that M Carbo uh, that M Carbo kit was going to was going to claim that the trigger pull weight that they claim to produce. Um, so because of that, I just, I just went with the, my personal trigger job. Uh, this thing is much more usable now, breaking at under, under four pounds consistently. Um, so really happy with how that turned out. I can actually use this for the type of shooting that I like to do now um, and not have that atrocious trigger pull. Um, beyond that, I, put, I dropped the Hilux Pentalux on here. You guys have seen this plenty of times. I've done a full review on the Hilux Pentalux. Um, if you guys are interested in that, you can go check out that review. Um, also, if you guys are interested in any of the Hilux scopes, uh, any of their modern rifle scopes, you can use code GUNFATHER5 on their website and get 5% off of any of Hilux's modern rifle scopes. Um, and then I also added this uh, dovetail to, to, to put this scope on here. I had to be able to put a pick rail on here and so I got this UTG dovetail to pick rail adapter, uh, which really, uh, this thing, we'll go over that in the full overview of this rifle, but this thing gives us the ability to not only drop a bigger scope on here with the pick rail, but it does a couple other things that uh, really improve, uh, get, really give me more ability to, to get out to those further distances. Um, and then on beyond that, we've had the, we've had the muzzle threaded, so I plan on, uh, getting a suppressor for this here in the very near future. So this thing is the ultimate Marlin Model 60. I don't know any, I've never seen any other Marlin Model 60 set up like this. And obviously with the Ely ammo that we've been shooting, if you guys saw in those videos, especially the ammo comparison videos, this thing flat out shoots with that good Ely, Ely ammo. Now in this video, as a matter of fact, um, we're gonna take this thing out and shoot it at distance. I'm not shooting the Ely semi-auto bench rest precision ammo. I actually had picked up a box of the uh, Ely Force uh, it's their high velocity uh, 42 grain semi-auto uh, match ammo. I picked up a box of it um, and was kind of curious. I know typically you're not you're not going to use uh, ammo that breaks the sound barrier for long range shooting in a 22 because that's come back down through the sound barrier. But I will say you guys will see how this thing performs. Not only did it allow me to get a much lower elevation. Uh, to get out to this 350 yards, 
um, but it uh, was completely consistent at that distance. So I feel really comfortable uh, shooting that ammo at those distances, and it doesn't seem like coming back down uh, out of the transonic zone is disrupting this, this ammo's flight at all. And you guys will see that in this video. So hope you guys are looking forward to as looking forward to more videos with this. I know I'm looking forward to producing more videos with this thing. I'm really excited about it. Uh, this is the first and this is the 350 yard golf ball challenge with the ultimate Marlin Model 60. Um, so if you guys want to do this challenge just like any of my other challenges, um, you guys are welcome to go out and try it yourself. I look forward to it. If you guys want to do that, I'd love to see your guys' videos. Um, a golf ball at 350 yards is a tiny target for a 22. Um, so let's see if we can get it done with this one. Hope you guys enjoy it. See you guys next time. I'm out. Okay. So this is something I've been really excited about. You guys saw this when it was the... When this thing was the... 22 LR budget long range precision project. Well now, I think it's safe to say this is the ultimate mar long range Marlin Model 60. So, let's see if it uh, can perform that way. We did the 350 yard pop can challenge with it in its old configuration. Let's see if we can't do the 350 yard golf ball challenge now that it is uh, configured much more suitable for this type of shooting. So here we go. 356 golf ball directly in front of the Ipsic. First, we, I'm wondering if my dad is going to line up. I have not attempted to shoot this thing at any sort of distance since it's been set up like this. Okay. There we go, that's better. Get the rock get stabbing me in the arm out of the way. Okay, I do believe that was on plate. I cannot tell where. Okay. Oh. 
Okay, calm down there, wind. <laughs> Got him. Heck yeah. Boy, that thing was holding elevation just nice as could be. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The 22LR Budget Long Range Precision Project is now the Ultimate Marlin Model 60. That is 356 yards on a golf ball with a 22. <laughs> oh man, I watched that wind, I felt the wind pick up significantly. And I was watching, I got a flag down there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but uh, as soon as I saw that flag back, drop back to where I where it was that I knew was the right spot, I broke that shot and sure enough, it dropped right in there, 350, 356 on a golf ball, 22 LR, the ultimate Marlin Model 60. Big thanks to Boyd Stocks, Hilux Optics, Ely Ammo, I did a trigger job, UTG, I dropped some UTG products on here, man this thing shoots, <laughs> yeah, alright, so this is a little bit different than when we shoot these golf balls with the center fire, even with the, at the thousand yard golf ball challenge that we did with the six Creed, the bullet penetrated all the way through the ball. This, I hope you guys can see that, that is our impact. So we caught the ball right there on the bottom. The ball would have been hanging just like this. So we caught it right there on the bottom and it skipped, it hit the ball, skipped off. And as you can see, if you look at these three, four impacts, these are nice round impacts. This one is elongated. So you can see where it skipped off the bottom of this ball and was traveling at a different angle and hit the hit the uh, target right there but that is the 350 yard golf ball challenge with the 22 lr ultimate marlin model 60 build i'm excited about this thing i plan on doing a whole lot more cool videos with this rifle so be looking forward for that